the carpenter and the painter. Long ago, there lived a painter. His name was Doji. He was a tall, thin man. He was also a very good man. He helped his friends. One of his friends was a painter called Ongdi. Doji and Ongdi worked for the Zongpen. Doji made tables and chairs for the Zongpen and Ongdi painted them. The Zongpen liked the two men's work and was very happy. One day, the Zongpen came to see the two men's work. Doji was making a box for the Zongpen's daughter. The Zongpen looked at the box. This is very good work, Dorji, he said. I'm very happy you are the best carpenter in Bhutan. Wangdi was painting a window. He wanted to show the Zongpen his work, but the Zongpen did not look at it. He only looked at Dorji's box and then he went out. Wangdi was very angry. I am a good painter. I want the Zongpen to see I am the best painter in Bhutan, he thought. That day, Wangdi made a plan to kill Doji. He went to Zongpen and said, Your mother and father are in heaven. They need a big house to live in. Doji is the best carpenter in Bhutan. You can send him to heaven. He can make a good house for them. Yes, said the Zongpen. But how can he go? He can't fly. The painter answered. We can make a big fire and put Doji on it. Then he can fly to heaven in the smoke. The Zongpen called Doji and told him, I want you to go to heaven and make a house for my mother and father. Yes, said Doji. But how can I go? I can't fly. Then the Zongpen told him on this plan. Doji was very sad and went to his house. He told his wife, what the Zongpen had said. Doji and his wife thought and thought. Then that afternoon, Doji's wife thought of a plan. She said, We can make a tunnel under the ground from the fire to our house. You can go in it to our house and live there for a long time. That night, he and his wife made a tunnel under the ground. Then he went to the Zongpen. The Zongpen's men made a big fire beside the river and put Doji on it. Everyone was very saved and when they saw the smoke going to the heaven, they shouted, Doji is going to die! Doji is going to die! But Doji did not die. He caught the jumped down into the tunnel and ran to his house. No one saw him. Doji lived in his house. He did not go out. He slept in the daytime and ate at night. His wife helped him. She cooked his food and washed his clothes at night. All Doji's friends thought he had died. After a long time, Doji's wife said, Now you can go to the Zongpen. Tell him that your work in heaven is finished. She gave Doji a new white gold and he put it on. Then he went to the Zongpen. When the Zongpen saw him, he was very happy. He said, How are my mother and father, Doji? Are they happy in the heaven? Is their house made? Doji answered, Your mother and father are very happy 
and they like their house. Now they need a good painter to paint it. Then the Zhongpen called Wangdi the painter and said, Now you can fly to heaven in the smoke. My mother and father need a good painter to paint their house. They made a big fire in front of the Zhongpen's house and put Wangdi on it. The fire was very hot and there was lots of smoke. Now the painter can go to heaven, said Dojit.